Cassie, this is Will. Um, check out this YouTube video. Hopefully it shows you how to do the problem. If not, you can give me a call. Um, but basically the, this handwriting is going to be a little bit bad because I'm, you know, like using, using a computer. Um, but from what it looks like, you got the, uh, the initial steps, right? So I've written the equation down for the chemical reaction right here. And the first thing that you did was write is you want to break it into all the different components for the ions. So, uh, magnesium is going to be a two plus, and then chlorine is going to be a negative and then sodium is going to be a plus and then the OH group is going to be a minus and so when you're doing these reactions you always need to balance the charges so this is where a lot of people actually run into problems but you know when you're putting these two things together that you're you're going to swap the two right so you have a positive here which magnesium negative chlorine positive sodium negative hydroxyl so you need to balance everything out and what's going to happen is that your positive on on this chemical compound is going to switch with the positive here and the negatives is going to switch as well um, so the, the tricky part is that with magnesium it's a two plus and you're balancing out with oh because you're switching and that's a minus. So you need two of these OH groups to balance out the magnesium. So your product of this reaction is actually going to be, um, well, let me write this down. Uh, once everything is said and done, is you're gonna have the magnesium and then you're gonna have to have two hydrogen groups. And again, I apologize for the sloppiness because it's tough to write with this computer thing um, so once all said and done this is going to be your end product but if you go back and kind of look at this reaction you don't have two magnesiums here or sorry two hydrox uh, hydroxyls um, you only have one so you're going to need you know to add on both sides of the equation to to balance everything out um, and so uh, in order to do that, um, you're gonna need to have two, just put it right there. Okay, you're gonna have to have two of these, you know, um, um, sodium hydroxyls, and, and that's gonna give you enough uh, to balance out the, the magnesium. So the ultimate end product of this is going to be, um, the best way probably mg um, o h 2 plus 2 n a c l okay so that's the end end product of your of your reaction uh, so balancing it requires you to kind of think about it almost in in reverse a, a little bit so you find the end product and then once you find the end product you have to go back um, over here and balance it out by putting this this two right right there so hopefully that's clear now once you have the balanced reaction um, and again your end product for the reaction is going to be this right here then you need to write everything out and you can do the ionic reaction. So here I've written out the fully balanced um, reaction. Because um, remember, we added these two of these to balance everything out, right? So now everything is is equal and the reaction's balanced. Now, once you balance the reaction, uh, the next step is to look for the ionic reaction. And so the ionic reaction there's no way for you to know this unless you're a chemist or it's in your book but when you do the ionic reactions you write everything out as an ion which i'm doing here um, and then okay and then you also do the same thing for the product of the reaction so it's you know it's going to be 
and again, I don't know how you would know this. Your book would have to tell you, but um, so y your book would have to tell you that this compound right here is insoluble in water. Um, and just to finish writing out the, the reaction, um, plus two and a plus two CL minus plus. Okay. Um, this compound here that you balanced is table salt, sodium chloride, that's soluble in water. Um, and this also is soluble in water. It's called sodium hydroxide. So anything that's soluble in water, um, you end up canceling out of your ionic equation. Um, so because this right here is, is soluble uh, in, in water, when you look for the net ionic equation, you're actually, you know, going to X those out. And you're only going to focus on what the, what the solid is. So anything that's aqueous, you end up taking out. So this right here is the solid. So you have to keep that. And then, you know, this right here is soluble. And so for the net ionic, you keep what's solid, which is going to be the Mg and the OH, and then everything else you get rid of. So because it's soluble, you get rid of this, you get rid of this, you get rid of this, and you get rid of this. So the net ionic okay, is going to equal Mg plus 2OH, and that is going to go to Mg O H two, and that's that's your net ionic equation. So first you balance the reaction, and then after you balance the reaction, um, you break everything up into ions, and you see what's insoluble. And again, your your chemistry book, or at least in your lecture, would have to tell you that that this compound right here, this magnesium hydroxide, is un insoluble. And once you find out what's insoluble, you can take everything else out of the equation. So you're only leaving the Mg and the OH and, and everything else disappears. And you keep that on both sides of the equation. And that's how you get your, your net ionic equation. So if you have any other questions, just go ahead and give me a call. I'll be around most of today. Um, I'll be driving in a little bit. And then um, I have to pick up my kid. Um, but she'll sleep and, and be cool if you want to give me a call. So I'm going to email this to you and then you can check it out on YouTube and then pause it and stuff like that.